This legendary diver has been used by the US Navy and it was in the smash hit 1951 movie, The Frogman. Introducing the all new Hamilton khaki Navy Frogman. And the first thing you'll notice is Hamilton has strayed from that original faithful design. And I kind of like it. The Frogman has finally leaped into the future. It is now a modern streamlined design that pays tribute to the original in an all new way. That crown guard is amazing. It has high polished chamfers that travels along the top and bottom and those chamfers continue on the sides of the lugs to the bottom of the case. Beautifully done by Hamilton. And for contrast, the rest of the case is completely satin smooth brushing. So that canteen style screw on crown guard is now gone and this one is a true screw down crown coming in at 8.3 millimeters, which helps give the Frogman 300 meters of water resistance. Very nice. And the crown can actually be turned with a flathead screwdriver. There is a screw on the side that's connected to it. And there's actually another trick up its sleeve. When you unscrew the crown, the crown and the crown guard move away from the case. So we have some complicated engineering as the crown guard disappears into the mid case. Very cool. And to help balance that dramatic crown guard, Hamilton added a design element on the opposite side with their logo with high polish and blasted elements. So overall, the design is fantastic. Now the bezel looks like ceramic yacht master style, but I believe it's stainless steel like the old model, but this one does have a PVD coating on the sunken portion and high polish raised elements. But how does it feel and how does it sound? The grip on the bezel is not the greatest, but when you manage to turn that bezel, you get a direct, no backplay, smooth experience. Now let's have a look at those dimensions. I got 41 millimeters in diameter, so that's one mil smaller than the old model, and we have a secret measurement of 30.5. The watch is now thicker at 13.1, but that's because of the double domed sapphire crystal with anti-reflective coating on the underside. There's no drilled lugs and the lug to lug is 44.2. Wow. Why am I saying wow? Because the old frogman was 52. So an incredible decrease in lug to lug. What does that mean? It's going to wear amazing on almost any wrist size. I could not wear the old Frogman, but I can pull this one off. Let me know how you think it wears on my six and a half inch wrist on the faraway shots. Now the strap. This strap feels thick and tough. Not the most comfortable. It definitely feels capable of professional diving, but I'm not a fan of it. It's 20 millimeters and it tapers down to 18. We got a signed Hamilton buckle with a skeletonized H. Now the dial and hands. It looks like the hands have been carried over from the last generation, but this one has an orange minute hand and an orange tipped second hand. That's a nice touch, which goes well with the automatic 300 meter text in orange above the six o'clock. We got high polished baton applied markers, except for at the 12 o'clock where we have an applied Arabic. Hamilton and the logo printed in white underneath that 12 o'clock. And just like the old model, the case pack has that Frogman goggles and scuba gear engraved, and it looks really good. The dial is a matte black gravel textured look that pairs so well with the insert and the overall vibe this timepiece exudes. It has a constraint look, but it has just enough going on to make it interesting, just a little bit of high polish to dress it up a bit. I'm a big fan of the look. Here's the loom shot. We got powerful BGW9 Swiss Super Luminova. I would say the hands are a bit more powerful than the rest of the dial, but overall pretty good loom. 
This new Frogman is powered by the same movement as the last generation, the Hamilton H10. It's a 25 joule, 21.6 VPH hack hand wind automatic, and it has 80 hours of power reserve. Now let's look at the rate. We got zero plus one and the fourth and final round plus one. We got a ton of B air though at 0 0.7. Now the positional variance how will the watch actually perform when you wear it? So plus one dial up and the beat error got worse. One millisecond now with an amplitude drop. Now let's look at the rate. We got plus five, plus two, plus three and the fourth and final round plus three. Well done. I think this is a huge upgrade over the outgoing model. As I spent more time with it, the only thing that came to my mind was well done. Hamilton. But what's the price? This one comes in at 1245 USD. That's for a Swiss made watch with history that's been reimagined. And it does come with a two year warranty. But I want to hear your thoughts and opinions. And if you liked this video, then you will love the two I have for you on the right of your screen right now. And I'll see you in the next one.